learning how to navigate when you've lost your compass. Uh, if it's sunny, there's um, quite an easy method to do. Gives you a bit of time to stop as well and think, uh, compose yourself and work out what you're doing. Um, all it involves is a couple of sticks and the sun, obviously. Um, as what you can do is by using the sticks and using the movement of the sun, you can gain your east to west direction and from there you can then get your north, uh, your bearing of north. Um, and this is how it's done. So we're going to put a stick in the ground to get uh, the initial shadow and then I'm going to take, pop it in the ground there, a bit like that, idealistically a bit straighter. Um, now what you'll notice is, if I can move out of the way, you'll see a shadow coming off of the stick. What I'll do is, there it is, uh, just for visual representation, that is where, in this instance, that is where the shadow is coming. We'll come back to this um, in 15 minutes, but what I actually want to do initially is mark out where the end of that shadow is, and I'll actually use this stick for for this purposes. So, at the moment, that smaller second stick is at the tip of that initial shadow. When we come back shortly, we'll see where the sun moves um, and where the new shadow lies, and that should then give us our west to east direction. So, due to having to battle the sun going in and out in the weather uh, for this video, um, whilst the sun was out I managed to catch where the shadow is now lying and I thought I'd use the black rod to make it stand out on the grass a bit more. So this is now after about 30 minutes as to where the, the sun has moved to and has cast a new shadow. So what I now do is put a stick at the end of the um, shadow, new shadow, and we'll use, we'll use my shadow line stick as the marker. So what we've now got is we've now got west at the start, going down to east on, on the right hand side. So that gives us a line. So we can use the original stick and make a nice little cross giving us that is now pointing towards your north direction and if we use a compass to confirm that we're correct and we can put the compass down and now confirming that stick is indeed pointing north. So that, when it's a bit sunnier um, and you can get some shadows, will give you the opportunity to find north when you've lost your compass. Another way to work out where north is whilst you're out and about uh, in the wilderness when you don't have a compass um, is as long as you have a needle, a magnet, now a fridge magnet will work, and some still water. Still water is very key. Um, and something like a leaf um, that the item can float on, uh, then that is another way for you to find uh, where north is. So using just an ordinary fridge magnet um, and your needle, now, the way to work it out is if you use your, the eyelet end, so the bit that the thread goes through, and rub it approximately 50 times up and down on the magnet. Now, this will magnetise the needle um, and create a north where the point is and south where the eyelet is. Um, and this way, you can, the, the needle when you put it on some water, um, swing and rotate 
so that you can then get um, your magnetic north. So being limited for water in the garden, I've opted for a dish from a flower pot uh, and some water. <coughs> Once you've magnetised your needle, um, the stronger the kitchen magnet, the better really for this one. Um, you then just need a leaf. So once you get your leaf, you pop your leaf in the water and stick your needle on the top and you'll notice that the needle starts to, to, starts to spin and move. And the needle eventually settle. And what this is doing, this is finding its, its magnetic um, pull. So a bit like a compass on a needle um, where it spins round uh, and tries to find your north it will eventually settle. So what we've got is we've got your north at the top there pointing off and we've got your south heading down that way away from you. Uh, just to confirm uh, using again the trusty old compass um, as I show them both in you notice that the north is pointing the right way however now you know your north you know that you'll have your east your south and your west. So that's two methods of, of navigation uh, when you don't have a compass. There is one final one as well. Now for those that are out walking a lot of you have watches, some may be digital, uh, some may be analogue. Um, now digital it is a lot harder to do, um, although you can convert your watch uh, the digital time into a watch face uh, using a bit of paper um, if you've got the ground you can try and draw it out on the ground sort of make a clock and the way to do that is the sun again now even on a cloudy day you can roughly work out where the sun is going to be now if I turn around um, the sun, in my instance, is directly, sorry, um, behind my head, and the house that's opposite. And switching down to a clock, uh, unfortunately I only have a digital one, which keeps going off, um, so we'll use my wall clock. And there's my wall clock. So, lining up the hour hand, which will be the smaller one, don't get it confused with the uh, the minute hand because you can go wrong very wrong if you do that one um, but you line your hour hand up with the sun and then you need your 12 o'clock so with your 12 o'clock and your hour hand and I'll draw those with some trusty bits of grass is there and your 12 o'clock is there. Now, to get your north, you need to take a line that goes in between those two angles. And if I draw that one there, and I need another bit of stem, and we draw that one there. Now, in the Northern Hemisphere, because of the way that the, um, the sun moves um, west to east, it's always going to be that angle that will be your north. South, this side, so on the in, in, inside angle, north will always be the outside angle. And it'll be that direction over there. Um, which again, confirming it with the trusty compass. If you notice, north is pointing when it sails. Oops, too clear me, too near me phone. <clears throat> Let me 
we get it right. North is pointing towards the right way. There is three methods that you guys can give a try. Um, at varying different times. Doesn't have to be over the weekend. So that's three easy me methods to work out where north is if you don't have a compass. I'm guilty of it before I've gone out uh, without my compass and used a couple of these methods before to work out uh, which direction I'm supposed to be going in. I knew I was supposed to be going in a westerly direction. Which way was north? Not too sure. Let's find out. Uh, and then you can pick it up that way round. Um, looking at your compass points. So north at the top, south at the bottom, east by my thumb, and west on on this side. Um, for beavers, cubs, that may not kind of know roughly where your cardinal points are, um, try and think of a clock face. So 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And, and the way that the clock goes round. Um, and a little phrase to remember, and I, I'm guilty, I still use it as well now, on occasions, is naughty elephants squirt water. North, east, south, west. Um, and that will give you something, if you can remember that phrase, uh, that will give you the option to work out and try and remember which side is left, uh, east and west. Um, and hopefully you should get that north is up top and south is down the bottom. Hopefully you'll give these activities a try and you enjoy the rest of your weekend.